Right fellas, we have our first teaser for Call of Duty 2020 and it is directly linked to the easter egg which is going on in Warzone right now, but we also, we also know the name of a game which is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. It, it doesn't roll off the tongue, but hey, I'm not complaining. COD Black Ops Cold War. Yeah, alright. So yesterday there was the update to Modern Warfare which unlocked the easter egg in Warzone so people can now open the bunkers, but Infinity Ward released the patch notes and at the end was a little teaser and wait, wait, just thinking about it. This first teaser came from Infinity Ward, but by the looks of things it is to do with COD 2020. I mean, Black Ops Cold War, whatever. Forsaken God filled in the blanks, you know, filled in the redacted pieces of information from the teaser message, and it reads, Number station, Rasalka is protocol yellow. Activate sleeper cell system. Project Nova is inbound. Awaiting correct authorization. So, well, that's, that's nothing to do with Infinity Ward or Modern Warfare. That is literally Black Ops. Now he says that this message does come directly from the original Black Ops and I googled it and I couldn't find anything, so he might be wrong. So this guy could just be BSing and that message from Infinity Ward is actually just something to do with Just For Warzone easter egg, which we will get into, but if not, it is our first teaser which directly mentions Nova Gas and the Rasulka which is the boat which is like a broadcasting station for the numbers mason that's where the numbers come from lads so it's it's giving us an idea about what Treyarch are going to dive into again in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War not gonna lie fellas every time I try to say that name my ma- fuck my brain <laughs> My brain melts, as you as you witnessed. As for the Warzone Easter egg, I have not done it myself because, to be completely blunt with you, it's it's not easy to do. You need to find a phone ringing on the map, and there's different locations, and it will only be in one per game. And then some Russian fella will speak to you down the phone, giving you some numbers, and then you need to access the bunkers. When you access Bunker 11, there is a nuke and a big red button. And I, I, I don't know what that means. Well, actually, yes, I do, because there's only one thing. One thing a big red button and a nuke is going to do, right? Now, it that could just be something to do with Warzone itself and nothing to do with COD 2020, but if not, it it could be part of a viral marketing. It, I don't think it's a coincidence that all of this stuff is going down at the same time. In a video last week, I was saying it looks like we are going to have a Modern Warfare-style a uh, reveal for COD 2020, seeing as we know nothing, and that literally is following it almost to a T, because out of nowhere on Twitter, Okami, a kind of trusted leaker, just released the name, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and if you don't know this guy, uh, what did he do? He he knew about the date for the Gunfight Alpha for Modern Warfare then, he knew about Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, he has inside information and yeah, he, he seems to be reputable, and he randomly releases the name, then the gaming revolution is like, oh well, damn, I heard about this two weeks ago, but I was told not to say anything. And now Eurogamer is also saying the same thing, so Activision and Treyarch haven't officially came out and announced the game and revealed the name, but, I mean, come on, what else, what else do you need? And same thing happened for Modern Warfare last year, where Long Sensation randomly came on Twitter and revealed the name, then about a week later, there was a teaser and a trailer the day, the day later, so. So, fellas, it is going down. Now, yeah, instead of doing the Warzone Easter egg today, I was sitting outside chilling, because it's like the hottest day of the year where I am, and by chilling, I mean burning, like my arms are literally burnt, but anyway, that's all I have for you today, so stay spicy, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.